Hello, pinheads. Welcome to this week in pinball's June 2020 recap of everything happening in the pinball world. Stern Pinball has revealed their newest creation, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Pinball. We got a glimpse behind the scenes of the production in full force. Dead Flip's Jack Danger streamed both the limited edition version and the pro version of the machine. For more details, including features, rules, and more, check out the deep dive on thisweekinpinball.com for an in-depth overview of the game. The Loser Kid Pinball Podcast interviewed Dwight Sullivan from Stern Pinball about the TMNT release. Not only can the player choose their favorite turtle to play, but the gameplay is different depending on which turtle you choose. Check out the Loser Kid Pinball Podcast for the full interview. That's not all, turtle fans. The super awesome pinball show interviewed Zombie Yeti, the artist of the TMNT game. He talked about using the Cowabunga It Is meme in the premium model of the game for some instant viral marketing. He also gave us the reason why he thinks Stern chose the 1987 version of the Turtles and how he got into pinball. For more, check out the Super Awesome Pinball Show podcast episode featuring Zombie Yeti. Jersey Jack Pinball got the pinball community talking when they shared a few teasers about some upcoming innovations. Some speculating that the new innovation may be Wi-Fi included in pinball machines. Then later in the week, Buffalo Pinball hosted a heads-up battle with Jersey Jack Pinball, who gave a little more of a tease at the end of the stream, saying, If you think innovation is Wi-Fi, hold on to your hats, folks. Check out the full heads-up battle at the Buffalo Pinball Twitch channel. The team over at Pinball Profile were joined by Keith Johnson, the director of software at Jersey Jack Pinball. He went into detail about beta testing their new games, working on the Pirates of the Caribbean wizard mode, and about co-op mode, possibly coming to Jersey Jack Pinball machines. Keith talked about wanting to give fans a new experience in their next game. He also talks about working from home and Zoom meetings, and how the team at Jersey Jack Pinball collaborates on the rules of the game. He also gave us some more information about their new facility in Elk Grove Village. Listen to the full episode of Pinball Profile's interview with Keith Johnson on their website, pinballprofile.com. More from Jersey Jack Pinball. It is heavily rumored that they are working on a Guns N' Roses pinball machine. As you may know, Slash is a huge pinball fan and has owned a lot of games throughout his life. Hey Slash! Stern Pinball has also announced the brand new Jurassic Park Topper. This topper interacts with your game by capturing dinosaurs to light a letter in Jurassic Park. Spell Jurassic Park for a special mode. There's no better way to top off your game. We hear that the added mode and light show are an amazing value at the $600 price tag. But hey, what do I know? It's sold out. Buckle up, Hot Wheels fans. We saw the full reveal of Hot Wheels Pinball, the newest creation from American Pinball. Jack Danger did the gameplay reveal, and the guys at Straight Down the Middle posted an unboxing of the machine. There has been a lot of discussion on podcasts and forums about the inserts on Hot Wheels that have three LEDs under the playfield, which creates a strobe-like effect to show the player where to shoot. To find out more about the features, rules, and more, check out the TWIP Deep Dive on ThisWeekInPinball.com for an in-depth overview of Hot Wheels Pinball. For more information about manufacturing and shipping, go to AmericanPinball.com. Spooky Pinball has released an update on the Rick and Morty pinball machine. The new update includes Meeseek's Mania Multiball and a new adventure, Get Schwifty. The machine even knows when you perform a death save, expertly executed here by Bowen Kearns while playing the Rick and Morty game. History has been made. Multimorphic hosted the world's first four-way internet-connected head-to-head pinball live stream. Multimorphic's P3 allows for real-time head-to-head pinball with multi-game capabilities. The P3 combines everything you love about pinball with the addition of dynamic LCD screens and ball tracking 
for a whole new level of multiplayer interaction. The games featured on the P3 include Cosmic Kart Racing, Cannon Lagoon, Heist, and Heads Up. For more details, go to Multimorphic.com. Deep Root Pinball released an update on their website. Their hopes for a grand launch in March of this year was unfortunately halted. They switched up their game plan and will have a low-key recorded tour of their innovations and facilities in the future. I'm looking forward to that. Steve Epstein, a pioneer in the pinball industry, sadly passed away on June 13th. Steve was the owner of the world-famous Broadway Arcade in New York City and one of the world's most dedicated pinball promoters. Pinball Profile shared a tribute episode to Steve Epstein where they talked to many of Steve's friends and colleagues about his amazing life and career. Check out their episode at pinballprofile.com. Stern Pinball has revealed their brand new contract pinball machine, Heavy Metal. The game includes Blue Oyster Cult, Sebastian Bach, Brendan Small, Cheap Trick, and more. It's sure to get you rocking to your favorite tunes. Final Round Pinball Podcast interviewed game designer and pinball champion Keith Elwin. He talked about flipping the flippers on Jurassic Park, designing the Iron Maiden and Guardians of the Galaxy games, his philosophy on rules, and the nostalgic things he loves in pinball machines. He will never make a game without a spinner. We thank you, Keith. In other news, Canada's Pinball Podcast recently announced that the podcast is over. All the past episodes have been set to private, and the Canada Facebook page has also been deleted. This weekend, Pinball reached out to Canada for a comment, and he shared a statement that you can read on our website. On June 12th, we celebrate a very happy 75th birthday to the CEO of Stern Pinball. Happy birthday, Gary Stern. Thank you for connecting families across the world with the fun and joy of pinball. And now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, our monthly giveaway winners. Congrats to all the previous month's winners. Make sure to go to patreon.com slash TWIP and become a member. By giving This Week in Pinball a small monthly donation, you will automatically be entered in our upcoming monthly giveaways and also get all the awesome TWIP perks. You can also email giveaways at thisweekinpinball.com with your name, address, and email to be entered for this month only. A This Week in Pinball lapel pin goes to Jonathan. Congratulations! A This Week in Pinball keychain goes to Ryan. A This Week in Pinball t-shirt goes to Cody. Looking good. For those long gaming hours, a Pinball Life pin gulp goes to Brian. A Pin Quest hat goes to Rick. A Hooked on Pinball gift card goes to Jeffrey. Get a cool mod for your pin. A Stern Pinball Stranger Things Translate autographed by designer Brian Eddy goes to Kurt. A Silver Ball Swag Gift Card goes to Patrick. That will get you some great swag. A Titan Universal Silicone Ring Kit goes to Jared. The Comet Pinball Gift Card goes to Garrett. Some awesome pin shades go to Robert. The Pin Sound Gift Card goes to Kirk. And finally, the Grand Prize. Pin Stadium Fusion. Drum roll, please. Goes to Jim. Enjoy the ultimate light show. And a huge thank you to our generous sponsors that help make this hobby great. Our Patreon members help make TWIP possible. Special thanks to our top Patreon supporters, Joseph, Magnus, Rodney, Ian, and Brian. Between forums, podcasts, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch, it's hard to keep up with everything happening in the world of pinball. This Week in Pinball is your one-stop shop for pinball news and happenings. For more, hit like, subscribe, and click that bell. Catch you on the flip side, pinballers.